Good day. My name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is the last DP exam that was written on the 25th of May 2023. The formulas used are included in the video. The question is also posted in the description box below. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. Some of the formulas used in, the, in these videos, which are taken from DP examinations and past papers, do not appear in most textbooks or the formula sheet attached to your exam. You will need to know them in order to do some of the sums. They appear in the beginning and end screens. Let's get straight into it. Okay, and today we are doing question 3 of the DP exam. A beam consisting of a channel 300 by 100 by 46.2 kgs per meter is simply supported at its ends over a length of 4 meters. The channel is loaded with its longest side vertical and it supports a concentrated load of 40 kilonewtons at 1 meter from the one support. In addition to the vertical load, it also supports a horizontal tensile load of 60 kilonewtons that is applied to the centroid of the channel. Ignore the weight of the channel and calculate the following. The resultant stresses on the top and bottom of the beam and state their nature. Okay, so first things first, what we have to do is calculate the stress in the beam. So, first, stress D equals F over A. So, we will, so we have F, F of D is equal to 60 kilonewton F of B is 40 kilonewton length is 4 meters the area of the beam now, where you would get your area for this is in your hot roll tables. Now, make sure that your hot roll tables in the exam are the same as in your book, as in your textbook, because that's where you'll get this. So our, hot, so, our hot roll tables will tell us that our area is 5,876 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so we're doing stress of D, so it's F over A. So it's 60 times 10 to the 3 over 5,876 times 10 to the minus 6. And that answer is put that in your calculator, and your answer will be 10,211 times 10 to the 6 pascals. So, stress of D equals 10,211 mega pascals. Now, we will need M. M for the, for the, for B. For stress B, we will need M. So we get M first, which is F A B over L. So this is F of B. That's F of B. So in this particular case, what we are going to do is say, 40 times 10 to the 3 times A, 
which is the one meter times three, which is the rest of it. Okay, over four. Okay, and this m equals 30 times 10 to the 3 Newton meter. So m equals 30 times 10 to the 3 Newton meters. Now we're going to do stress of B, which is M Y over I. So M is 30 times 10 to the 3. Y is 0, 0,15. That's in your hot roll tables. Y is always in your hot roll tables. And so is and so is I. I and Y are both in your hot roll tables. So in this case it is 80 comma 28 times 10 to the minus 6. And we are left with 56 comma 0538 mega pascals. So, of B, 56, 0, 5, 3, 8 mega pascals. Now, literally, all we have to do is the bottom, because we wanted the bottom, and the stress at the bottom and the stress at the top. So the stress at the bottom is D plus DB, which equals 10 comma 211 plus 56 comma 0, 0538. And that equals 66 comma 2. Six five mega pascals. Now, what we have is at the top, so that is. D minus ten comma two one one minus fifty six comma oh five three eight. And what we are left with, this is compressive, and this is minus 45, comma, 8, 4, 3, and that is tensile, and that is tensile. Okay, now that we've worked out the results and stress at the top and stress at the bottom, now they want us to work out the position of the neutral axis from the top of the beam and indicate this on a stress distribution diagram. 
Okay, that's actually quite simple to do. All we have to do So, at first looks like this 45, comma, 8, 4, 3 over x equals 66, comma, 2, 6, 5 over 300 minus x. And this is number 3, comma, 2. And the last sub-question in this whole question. So, now what we have to do is determine the value of x. So, how we're going to do that is we are going to take this, move it there, and take that and move that there. So, this will be 300 minus x over x equals... 66,265 over 45,843. Now we're going to manipulate this formula here. So 300 over x minus x over x. So now we've got 1. So 300 minus. 1 over x, and that just stays 1. So it's 300 minus 1 over x. So now we have a number associated with x, and that will equal 66,265 over 45,8. Four, three. That's one one comma four four five. Now to get X, all we have to do is bring X up and bring that there. So three hundred minus one over 1 comma 4 4 5 equals x and how this all comes out x is equal to 1 2 2 comma 6 comma 6 7 5 millimeters. Alright, so now we have x. x equals 1, 2, 2, comma, 6, 7, 5 millimeters. Right, so what we need to do now we're going to draw a stress diagram which is quite simple to do. So all we have to do now is say that our stress diagram is the bus. Okay, there's our length. This is our top. It goes from there to there. So this will be the top. Okay, now as we as we're going to go through this, we go forty-five comma eight four three. That's the length of that section. Now we have to go to the length of that section, and this is sixty-six comma two six five between here and here all you have to do is just draw the stress diagram exactly as it stands and you'll get full marks 
300 minus x and this is x. Draw your stress diagram like this and you will get your full marks no matter what they say. It doesn't have to be the neatest drawing just so they can understand what you've done. That's all they need, is just to understand what you've done. Make sure you've got all your labels. Once you have all your labels, then they know exactly what you've done, and you, they can see the stress diagram after that. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.